Hey guys, Tony here, Walnut Ridge, Newcastle, Indiana, and you are watching Feature Friday. Today, we're going to take a look at this awesome 282 QB quad bunk bunkhouse, all fiberglass exterior, aluminum substructure, comes in right around 6,000 pounds, light enough to be towed by even a small half-ton truck, all of your full-size SUVs, and a bunch of your mid-size pickup trucks and mid-size SUVs will all tow this. So on the outside, you got a big massive storage compartment out here. It's accessible from this side, but you can also see back by the spare tire that's mounted on the back. There's also an access door back there. You've got a ladder here, which means this unit's got a fully walkable roof, so you can get up on the roof, sit up there and watch the fireworks for the 4th of July, anything like that. Big awning. The awning is powered, so you push a button and it opens. You push a button and it closes. You can see the LED light strip reflecting off of the fiberglass sidewall. You've also got a black water tank flush to help keep your black tank cleaned out. Make sure that there's no stinky, nasty stuff that stays in there when you're ready to pull out of the campground. Here in central Indiana, it's Memorial Day week, uh, about to be Memorial Day weekend. And here in Central Indiana, you're going to get to watch something on Sunday that we normally don't get to see. The, the race, the greatest spectacle in, in racing, the Indy 500, live as it happens. And this unit has an electrical outlet and a place for a television out here. So you could be sitting out underneath the awning, enjoying yourself in the campground, watching the race. You'll also enjoy the fact that it's got outdoor speakers. You can pair your phone using Bluetooth technology to the speakers stream uh, music from out there but the rest of the cool stuff you'll find inside this unit as soon as you come in the unit you'll find that you've got a queen size bed with dual pocket doors that pull shut to close off the front bedroom lots of storage space up there you've also got a sofa and a dinette in the slide here this sofa is a tri-fold sofa so it pulls out to make a full-size bed you also have a U-shaped dinette that can be made into a bed. A little smaller than a full size, maybe a twin size there, but an extra, extra sleeping space there. So two there, one there, there's three, plus two in the front, there's five, and then we'll catch up on the count when we get back here in the back. So you've got a double door refrigerator with your freezer at the top. You've got a three burner stove and oven, microwave, television that's on a pull out and a swivel and then you've got the big stainless steel farm style sink black single lever faucet with a sprayer lots of countertop even has a countertop extension that flips up here to give you even a little more countertop one of the things that i enjoy a lot about this floor plan is there's storage space underneath the the sink that's large enough to put a, a tall kitchen trash can and it's also accessible from the other side. So from either side, you can get to it. Back here, you have a step-in shower. Nice big mirrored vanity. And then you've got your toilet, of course. So nice space back there. And then not one, not two, but four bunks back here. 300 pound weight capacity on the top bunk. Just sliding in underneath that weight, but I can sleep up on the top. So if you're going to a great campground, you got to take me with you. So you got four sleeping uh, areas back here, as well as plenty of room for the kids to put all their clothes and stuff like that back here. So that's leaving free space up front for mom and dad to take their clothes. And right here in the corner, you have got an awesome food pantry right here in the corner. Plenty of room to take all the food to, to store for everybody. This is a great unit, guys. Like I said, this is the Passport 282 QB. Comes in right around 6,000 pounds, easily towable, plenty of sleeping space for you and your family. Come check it out, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.